721, Omid Popal will be in a San Francisco courtroom today for a driving spree he is charged going on uh, last week that uh, injured a number of San Franciscans. Uh, the, the district attorney from San Francisco, Kamala Harris, joins us live from the city this morning. Good morning, Kamala. Good morning, Ron. What are the charges against uh, Popal? He has been charged with 18 counts of attempted murder and 18 counts of assault. Uh, causing injury. Now, if he's convicted of this crime, what could the sentence be? He could face life in prison. Popal missed his uh, court date last week because he was having uh, a mental examination. What was the result of that? Uh, that's something I can't disclose at this moment. But it's still, he is being evaluated. Clearly, um, there is some suggestion that, that his frame of mind is obviously not the right frame of mind. We contend and, and will maintain that he was purposeful and, and, and intentional in his conduct, and for that reason, should face severe consequences. Well, I'm sure you're aware, and according to his family, he has previously been diagnosed as being a paranoid schizophrenic. Well, the issue in court will be what was his state of mind and his mental state at the time that he committed these crimes. And, of course, the crimes are numerous. Uh, he was on a rampage. And there is everything about his conduct, as has been described, suggested he knew what he was doing. He was purposeful. He was intentional. And for that reason, he's facing these many counts and, and should face life in prison. Yeah. What was the total number of people he injured? Uh, there are 18. Uh, one of the victims is paralyzed from the neck down. The victims range in age from 18 through 84. They range in terms of their ethnicity, gender. Uh, you know, he was, he was random in the way he chose his victims. And will there be any working with Alameda County? Because before he drove to San Francisco, uh, he's also charged with murder down in Fremont for killing a, a pedestrian that was right. you know, in a bike lane, I think walking in a bike lane. That's uh, exactly right. Will and you combine that, uh, this, this court uh, case with Alameda? From the day that we became aware of the incident that afternoon, I got on the phone with Tom Orloff, the district attorney of Alameda County, and we have been in close coordination since that time. We have separate jurisdictions, so there's the Alameda County case, which is the homicide, and then our case. We're proceeding, as, as, as Tom and I agreed, we're going to proceed with, with our case first in San Francisco. The case in Alameda County has been charged. It is you know, a, a real case, a live case, and it will um, be handled later. From what you know about Papal's background, does anybody have an idea what set off his anger last week? There's nothing that can justify or explain it uh, in terms of the way that he conducted himself. But that will all come out, I'm sure, as the defense makes its case. Apparently, there was also a murder that he confessed to last July. What do you know about that? Uh, not, not much that I can talk about, but it'll come out in the case as, as the case proceeds. All right. Well, uh, what time will he be in court today? Will he actually appear? Because this is an arraignment, correct? Uh, yes, it's an arraignment, which means that he will formally be told of the charges against him, and at that time he can then plea 99% of the defendants at arraignment plead not guilty and then we'll proceed from there. Is he, uh, is he being held in, uh, in jail or is he in San Francisco General Psychiatric? Uh, he's being held in the custody of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. All right, Kamala. Thanks for talking Thank with you, us Rob. this Thank morning.